Welcome to Subramani. This is going to be a little hodgepodge of uh, very many things that I am going to talk about. Uh, one is our own ability to see the future, our own understanding of risk and luck and uh, our own ability of predicting uh, uh, what will happen in the future. Two things, one is what will happen and how we will react. These are the two different things. So, when uh, you are filling up a risk questionnaire, uh, you are comfortable, right? You are filling up a risk questionnaire at a time when you are investing. Maybe you are investing 1 lakh or 10 lakhs or 1 crore, whatever. And you are sitting with your advisor and he is asking you, how does it feel to lose 30 percent of your portfolio? And you are very comfortable. You are sitting in a nice air conditioned uh, place or temperature controlled place, let us put it that way. You are filling up a form, somebody is filling up the form for you, you just have to answer. You are in a zone of super comfort, you are zoned out with a 30 percent return or a 22 percent return. In the last one year, your portfolio has done very well. In that comfort, you do not even understand what it is to lose 30 percent, right? It is like asking, uh, what will you do if a tiger comes in front of you and you say, oh, very great, oh, I will just uh, climb up a tree. But a, tri a tiger can climb up to 11, 12 feet without any problem. You have to climb much above that in a tree which a tiger can't climb. You have to have the brain power to do it before the tiger sees you, right? And a very high probability that the tiger is attacking you from behind. So, you would not even see it. It is not the tiger comes in front of you, right? So, that apart. So, how does it feel to lose 30 percent is not a question which you can answer when the markets are booming. It is a question which to uh, what has caused that 30 percent has hit you also, right? Maybe you have lost a job, maybe your company's prospects do not look too great, your portfolio has fallen, that is okay, that is not the only thing which has happened, many other things have happened. Your brother has lost his job, maybe you are going to support him, right? Your sister, um, your sister's marriage is coming up and your father uh, has, uh, his PF is chuck, it is not coming out, you are going to pay for it, right? So, all those things at a time, maybe you do not have money or you have zero willingness to invest. So, it is very, very difficult to say how you will react when the market falls 30 percent. The immediate reaction, though you will not admit it, is to say, oh my god, it has fallen 30 percent, what if the other 70 percent also falls, so let me sell. That is the first reaction, whether we admit it or no. We think in an ideal world, when the market falls 30 percent, I will be sitting there tight, uh, my whole portfolio, the only change in my life is my portfolio has fallen everything else is fine, right? So, my job is there, my uh, level of income will be there, my father is in great shape, my parents, I mean my parents are in great shape, my spouse is continuing to earn, my children are doing, everything is fine except that my portfolio instead of being worth 1 crore is worth 70 lakhs. Therefore, what will I do? Because I have got another 50 lakhs lying in the savings bank account with which to invest, right? This is the situation where you say, of course, when the market falls that much, I will buy more. The truth is, you are in that position because of various things which are also impacting you, right? Like I keep saying, um, you should buy when there is blood in the market, but remember some of that blood is yours. So, will you be able to think clearly when there is, when you are bleeding, right? That is a question to ask. When you are bleeding, will you be able to think uh, straight like what you said in the questionnaire? The answer is no. In fact, there is a nice uh, Daniel, uh, I was looking for this, this uh, Daniel Kahneman's uh, uh, point when he says, we dream about different circumstances in a vacuum while ignoring negative factors that come along with those circumstances, right? It is not just the circumstances which have changed. You are not sitting in that same comfortable position. Maybe your boss has just called you and said, boss, you are 48, we are letting go of people above 45. Uh, with all this, your portfolio has crashed. It is not just your portfolio has crashed in vacuum. So, he says, dreaming about sitting on the beach brings more joy than actually being on a beach because in the dream you are not thinking about getting hit by, bit by mosquitoes or having heartburn from lunch which is what happens in the real world which is true because it is very romantic to think oh 12 years back we went as a group of friends and this is what happened you remember all the pleasant parts and you think this is what will happen your expectation from a trip with friends is much higher than the reality. Your expectation from a vacation is much higher than what happens in reality. 
when your expectations are lower you get more pleasure when your expectations are nothing you think you're going to stay in a place which is going to be mosquito infested no that's not how you think you think oh it's going to be great it's going to be super place so i remember going to a beach in goa just uh, after a storm in goa and the beaches were very dirty uh, beaches had not been cleaned the municipality had no way they could have cleaned the beaches it was just uh, they were overwhelmed with work right so when you go there you think oh it's going to be great but there are bottles lying there broken bottles lying there coconut shells lying there the beach is no great fun why because you you thought last time i went it was a great beach i could run uh, barefoot there was no problem it was very clean yes that is how goa beaches are but this time when i went it was very dirty the problem is our expectation from anything our my expectation from hdfc bank is perhaps much higher than my expectation from city union bank Therefore, City Union Bank may give me better return over a five-year period than HDFC Bank because HDFC Bank it is expected to do well, and everybody buys HDFC Bank. With City Union Bank, there is no expectation. Only a few South Indians buy it. The others don't even know that it exists. And even in South India, there are many people who don't buy it. Caveat: I have City Union Bank and I have HDFC Bank, right? So I have made more money than from other paint companies than from Asian Paints. But the perception is, oh, Asian Paints is a great company, you should buy it. Uh, HDFC Bank is a great bank, you should buy it. How can you not have HDFC Bank? How can you not have SBI? How can you not have Kotak, Axis, uh, ICICI? If you buy all of this, you will have only banks in your portfolio, right? Where is the space for something else? So the question is. when an event happens when there is one banking fraud how you react is depends on whether you are employed in that bank whether you have money in that bank and then your immediate reaction is to say oh my god if it can happen to this bank it can happen to any bank so let me pull money out of a private sector bank let me sell hdfc bank and buy sbi is that the best thing to do i do not know but do you know whether you will not do this right that we also do not know so i think the best four words in investing is i do not know i do not know how i will react to my future problems i do not know how i will react to when my own money is also lost and i have lost 30% in my market in the market already i am losing my job i got to support a family member i am to support an ngo which somebody else is running with all this will i be investing more that's a question to ask and the answer is very very unlikely that you will say yes and if you say yes just check out whether you are lying to yourself thank you